gonna, I'm gonna have a lot of dos. This happened to our people in 1492 when Christopher Columbus came and he put paws on our people. I said paws because they're animals. Right. You don't yes, do this sir. to our people. The same way they did this to the Hispanics, they did it to the blacks as well. Okay? La misma manera que lo hicieron a los boricua. Lo hicieron a los morenos también. Que lo esclavizaron. Cogieron a nuestros hijos. They took our kids, our children, and put them in slavery. You see this? You see this? They took our children and put them in slavery. Where they at? Our yeah. This is our kids. The Bible speaks about that. That's right. Okay? Yeah. That was falling on us for our disobedience. Read it again. Hermana, miss, sis. Wait up, wait up. No, 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 wait up. Come on. I got I got you a reading. I got you an English reader. I'm going to go into in, in the right? All right, so the same information I'm going to give to him in, in, in Spanish, I'm going to give to you in English. Read what the Bible says. Listen to what the Bible says. Sister, what's your name? What's your name? Ebony. Ebony. Listen up, Ebony. It's important the information that we're bringing out here today. This history has been documented and has been hidden for, for centuries. The Israelites are bringing it out right now. All right? So it's important for you to listen to five minutes of this. I know, I know. Listen up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said our sons and our daughters were gonna be given to another people. That's right. You see this here? Happened to the blacks. You see this here? Happened to the Hispanics. Our kids were given to another people. Yeah, Nuestros right. hijos fueron entregados a otra gente. Eso está escrito en la Biblia. That is written in the Bible. Why do not teach you that in school? Read. Read. Y tus ojos lo verán. And it say, y dice que tus ojos lo van a ver. And it says what? Read that. And your and, eyes. And thy eyes shall look and fail. He said, and your eyes will see. You ain't witnessing it on TV as well. When the people of child, um, child care, come and take the kids away just because you want to discipline them. Some people are abusive. I'm not going to lie about that. Some people do not deserve to be parents. Hay gente que no debe ser parientes. Hay gente que no debe ser padre ni madre de una criatura. There's people that should not be father or mother to a child because they're mentally unstable. I understand that. But in general, the system is set up to take away our kids. How they do that? ¿Cómo hacen eso? ¿Cómo nos quitan a nuestros hijos? With religion, con religión, con false, false education, false education, right? Eso es lo que hace la gente. Eso es lo que hace este sistema. This system is designed. Even if they don't grab your kids physically, right? Come on, let's go. They grab them mentally. That's right. That's why you got kids right now wanting to what? Shoot and kill their own parents. Bring it out. It's the mental destruction of the system. That's right. The mental destruction that has taken place today, that is taking place today, Teach. and it's all documented in the Bible. That's Read. right. Let us Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them uh -huh. all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. It's a, and it says that our eyes are going to look. Nuestros ojos iban a ver y no iban a poder tener poder en nuestras manos. Para salvar a nuestros hijos. We won't have power in our hands to save our kids from you. What can we do? We gotta go back to the commandments of God. Let me get another curse. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20 and verse 28. Bring it out. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness. He said that the Lord is gonna smite us with madness. You see it every day. I go on, on social media. Watch that camera. I watch, watch the camera. All right? I, I go on social media, right? And I look at it. And our people are going crazy and crazy. They had a, a, a challenge named the crate challenge or whatnot, right? People climbing over uh, crates, busting their heads. Or the other day they had some twerking challenge or whatnot, where you have mothers going to school events, twerking, making a shame on themselves. That's madness. 
But who I blame for that? I blame the Christian church. I blame all the institutions that have been established by this enemy. Right. And if you don't want to believe that we have enemies as a people, you confuse. That's right. You confuse and you're blinded. Bring it out. We see it every day. We're being attacked with, with our food, we get an attack. Everything in our neighborhoods is GMO. It's like a food, food desert in our neighborhoods. La comida que comemos no sirve. Okay? Nuestros hijos están perdidos mentalmente. You understand? Read. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And our people are walking in blindness. They more willing to help another nation than to help ourselves. Los boricuas quieren ayudar a otra gente antes de ayudar al mismo boricua. Cierto o falso? Right? The blacks as well. They rather help another nation than to help themselves. They walking around blind. Let me get another curse. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. The Bible says that as a curse, we were going to serve our enemy. Right. Dice como una maldición, no vamos a servir a nuestro enemigo. Right? Read. Ha. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. So that enemy was going to be sent against us and we were going to serve him for food, clothing, and everything else. Meaning what? If you want to drive a car, who you go to? Yes. If you want to drive up, si quieres manejar un carro, ¿dónde tiene que ir? Vale Movi, but uh, DMV, right? A buscar permiso del hombre blanco, right? She said it, the white man, read. That's right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until... Did this happen to us? Read it again clearly. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. This happened to us, blacks. You see that? We had yoke of irons up on, on our necks. Nobody else, history, nobody else in history went through the slavery that we went through. We don't Servirás. Go ahead. Servirás, por tanto, a tus enemigos, que enviaré Jehová contra ti, con hambre y con sed. Say with me, right? Dice que vamos a servir a nuestro enemigo con hambre y con sed. Okay, good. All right. Drop that. I'm going to read it again for the sister. Come closer, sister. What's your name? Ebony, come closer, sister. Come closer. All right. Ebony. All right. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness, and in want of all things. So we were set to serve our enemies for the want of all things. Due to our rebelliousness as a people. Due to the fact that we don't want to unite as a people. All right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.